Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Medwai Fryho. Today, I'm about to teach you, or we are all about to learn how to prepare 0.5% chlorine solution from 3.5% chlorine solution. Stay tuned. So, before you start the procedure, you have to assemble your items. So, these are the items that you have to assemble. You have to get your marker. This is what you use to label your chlorine solution. So in nursing, you know you have to protect yourself. Infection prevention control. And so you have to put on your PPE. These are my PPE. And this is my chlorine solution, 3.5%. First of all, you have to put on your head GA. I'm already wearing one. So this that is the first. PPE to be worn. And then your boots. Don't forget. Remember to choose your size. Put it down. You have to inspect. Sometimes there might be needles or cockroaches, anything in the boot. So you inspect. One, two, three. Then you put it down. Put the other one. Check. There is nothing in it. And then you wear. After that, you wear your apron. <laughs> Tie your apron. Okay. All set. And then your face mask. Remember to protect your eyes. So you wear your go go. And then you do hand hygiene. You have to perform hand hygiene. For the sake of time, I will use my alcohol rope. You check for expiry date and check for the percentage. It's 70%. Then the expiry date, it hasn't expired. So. My hands are clean, and then I wear my utility gloves. I want to something. Have to check. I am done donning my PPE. We are about to prepare 0.5% chlorine solution. This is our 3.5% chlorine solution. There is a formula that you have to follow, which is stock strength over required strength minus one. That is the formula. That we are about to use to prepare our 0.5 chlorine solution from 3.5% chlorine solution. So this is our, in some hospitals, they use other percentage like 7%, 6%, depending. So, in, so anytime 
you are about to prepare a 0.5% chlorine solution. You have to know the stock strength. It doesn't matter. That one is not constant. The one that is constant is the one. So stock strength over required strength minus one. So the one is constant. It doesn't change. But the stock strength can change and the required strength can also change. That is the formula. So let's continue. So you shake for it to uh, mix properly. So this is the measuring cup that you are about to use. Remember, the measuring cup that you use to measure your water, that is the same measuring cup that you have to use to measure your chlorine solution. Never change the measuring cup because it is a formula. You are going to take something out of a hole. So if you change the measuring cup, you will not get the accurate or the actual strength that we are all looking for. Bear in mind. Thank you. Let's go on. So before you start, you have to fetch your water before the chlorine solution. But since you are using the 3.5% chlorine solution and we want to get 0.5% out of it, we will calculate. And after calculation, you will get one part of chlorine solution to six parts of clean water. That is what you get after calculating 3.5% over 0.5% minus one so you mix and then you pour protect yourself so you put it and then you pour i am using the same measuring cup so we we have our collision after covering then you label for everyone that will come into your ward or anywhere you are, you are placed, it, you know that it is a it is a chlorine solution. It is zero point five percent chlorine solution. When you have to indicate the time you prepared, the date you prepared, the time it will expire, the date it will expire, and the strength on the side of your container. It should be visible for everyone to see. So I think mine is visible. Anyone can see it, right? Okay, so that is it. So this is my 0.5% chlorine solution. Thanks for watching this video. I'm Edwai Fahel. See you in my next video. Bye.